stages, main stages, turn off those, turn off those stages. Looks like we are going to get Krom and Richard. Krom and H Oh, they're both anime, really. Yeah. One's just much more uh, re relevant now. Those will be interesting because Fire Emblem characters can have trouble with projectiles because they don't have any. Yeah, exactly. They, they didn't want to run in and swing their sword around. But Trom is so fast. Yeah, exactly. He is Roy's echo, after all. I mean, Roy is super fast. Like, the Belmont should only get, like, one or two projectiles out before Trom can potentially get in there. Which is pretty much going to be, once Trom gets in, he's going to do a crap ton of damage. All right, let's see. Ooh, nice bear right there. But of course, with all the uh, nerfs to shield, his defense is hard. And the nerf to perfect shield. Yeah. And then he like, projectiles are just all, always a threat. Yeah. It's Rain, like you can't actually get in on them. Yeah. <laughs> Rain does use the uh, the buffer up the, where he'll shield. If you if you, you block all his projectiles and come in from above, he'll shield. And he'll just buffer his up B so that way he'll punish you for landing. Because he does have a short UP. Yeah, I think it's frame five. Or just barely making it back. You do have actually, to, you do have to be a little bit careful with that upbeat buffer because if you actually upbeat too fast, <laughs> if you like it up and B, it will just out of shield it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like, regardless of anything you're hitting your shield. Okay, we got Axe right there. We're throwing stuff. Yeah, it does. Really hard for really hard for anyone to get in. Forgot like the pattern. Said, look at that chain link. That's crazy. Ooh, nice. I thought uh, you could punish. Yeah, nice forward tilt into dab right there. Another forward tilt that will be not in kill. trouble. I say it's not gonna kill just yet. He still his jump. Jump up the uh, Richter having a really bad recovery, but if you jump with it and up just like most characters, it carries so much momentum. It's a, it's a little bit better than people give it credit for, but it's still fairly bad for any comparison. Yeah, and Gus was not able to check because. Uh, you can't tech after a certain percent. You can't tech eventually. Okay. Okay. Forward, forward tilt. No spacing required. Yeah, finally gonna kill. <laughs> it's behind him. Ooh, right there, getting caught, caught with the side B, neutral B. And I don't think Gus has had a jump this whole time. He kind of threw his jump away. Ooh, just barely missing the placement on that forward smash. Yeah, he needed to run back in order to get the right spacing. There it is, waiting on the ledge. This is the thing about Richter, man, is, is you want to jump over stuff, but when he's throwing those axes, it's hard to jump over anything. And he's just going to reset neutral by running to the ledge there, but got to be careful here. Ooh, Gus not really going to get any, uh, any follow-ups, though. Oh, and he upbeat the wrong way! Reverse it. Man. I was going to say, unlike Ike. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just seems so unhappy. Yeah, Ike's Ether would have also died there, but unlike Ike's, Trom has pretty much no horizontal movement. Yeah. Looks like Gus is kind of contemplating his life here, like, man, but where similarly to Ike's, it does not snap ledge from behind. Yeah. Gus thinking, that's not what you want to do when you play Trom. Oh my god. <laughs> you just want to go in. It's so Smash 4, you played like a bunch of characters, yeah, although I couldn't character. even tell you what his best character was. They were all... He was like Mario, Zelda for some matchups, yeah, Lucina. He, he was very uh, good at all, and so it was tough. He played ZSS for a while. When, he first, when I first saw him, okay. we seen he played Rogalina. Now, Zelda's pretty interesting. I think Zelda actually probably do pretty good in this. Because a lot of Zeldas are using their up B as an approach tool almost, because it's so quick and powerful. So she can actually teleport through a lot of these moves. And of course she has a reflector, so. But it does look like he, he tried to go for that side B right away from Gus, and that is just not what you want to go for. Uh, it's too slow. I think Gus is trying to jump over these projectiles, there it is. but there's too much delay between See, when he's expecting to jump and when the projectile is coming. Yeah. This is what Gus, I think, is going to have to... Oh, he caught the, caught the bottle. Oh, he threw it up, too. Here it comes. Ooh, oh. but it didn't land on stage. Good uh, good recovery, right? Not recovery, but good uh, option right there from Rain to uh, use his up B. He's going to have to adapt a little bit to Gus approaching with his up B, but it does look yeah, like... He just caught it there. I say, it does look like he's catching on. Can't do it in the air. got to be careful. Got some lag on it. Put you into helpless, and then you have the landing leg. Yeah. So Gus just kind of gave that one away. Oh, nice, nice uh, get down from the ledge right there. Pretty smart. 
Catching him once again. Catching him across. Ooh, nice spot. Catching once him across again. again. It's every every time he goes for a projectile, he's just he's just reacting with up B, which is pretty much what you're gonna have to do in this matchup. It comes to the big man. It's pretty much who can out projectile who, which Richter is gonna win that. So you kind of have say, to. Zelda projectiles aren't especially fast. Yeah. On their startup. There it is once again, and it actually reflected. It looked like the uh, the uh, side view from Richter. Yeah, Gus was able to shorten the uh, upbeat distance. Ooh, Gus spot dodge right here. Nice, right? That's oh, gonna out of kill. Shield. No, it's not gonna kill just yet. Not quite. Very viable at the end. Oh, he's got the bottle. Straight down. Ooh, Gus is <laughs> just Gus is just getting uh, antsy. I think he just doesn't want to get hit by anything. So he just keeps side beating. Oh, that's gonna hit the air. Ooh, just barely missing the uh, the knight on the bottom there. Up air. Ooh, yeah, barely missing. Gus sideways air dodging away. Man, Richter's ledge pressure is insane. I mean, Simon's too. Like, they're just crazy. Rain using, using all the space he has here on PS2 to get away. He's trying to do jab to down smash, but does catch him rolling away with that upbeat. Oh, and that hits under ledge. I'm surprised he didn't. Almost killing right there, though. Quite. It's not super strong. Just is jumping into that cross on the way back. Unfortunately, Gus just Gus trying to figure out how he's going to get in. He hasn't used his reflector at all, which I don't blame him honestly, because the axe when you reflector it doesn't exactly go back to the same part. Doesn't really do anything. So, but he could still be reflectoring the side B at least for the pressure. I mean, sending that back is not a bad option. He does catch him. Finally going to catch him there. Taking his first shot. He's going to have to figure out how. That's, but the problem here is like that's been the only thing he's really even landed. Is yeah, the upbeat. Up yeah, exactly. It's so hard to get in. It's, Zelda is so slow outside of uh, outside of the upbeat too. It's like she she only walks so or runs so fast. So. Ooh, you gotta catch him right there though. Ooh, and actually kill. killing him from the corner. No sweet spot necessary. Good job from Rain there. He's gonna move on to uh, winner Sin. Take this. Super impressive matchup right there. Ooh, we're gonna get Benson versus Pace now, okay. So that's the thing with Zelda's reflector is like, it's not all that great as a reflector. <laughs> it's, a, it's more it's of a get off me tool. Yeah. Like once you reflect something, that's about it. You can't do anything with it. Yeah. And I don't think it sends back any faster than it came in. I wonder how I wonder how Snake would do in that matchup. They're talking about Snake next to me. I wonder. I think Snake would get bodied in that matchup.